Hello, WASM on Astar Network launched last Thursday, so let's recap this WASM launch day broadcast and also what Sota Watanabe shared about future partnerships and announcements. So if you missed this Astars community crowdcast, I'm going to recap everything important. You can also mint your first Astars Wasm NFT on Paras Launchpad to claim this commemorative NFT. Go to launchpad.paras.id, connect your wallet, hit claim NFT, you will need a few ASTR and confirm. So currently there is over 260 projects in the Astar ecosystem. You can check all these projects on this newly launched ecosystem page, but as Sota Watanabe also stated, this number also also kind of represents one big problem, which is that all these projects are built on Astar's EVM. So up until now, Astar has been enabling to deploy only EVM smart contracts, which is something that Ethereum can do, as well as Polygon or other Ethereum's L2s. But now, with Wasm launch, Astar is doing something that only Polkadot can do, meaning Astar will now support both EVM and Wasm. So builders can deploy both Solidity smart contracts as well as Polkadot's native Inc. smart contracts by supporting both EVM and Wasm. Astara represents the future of multi-chain smart contracts because supporting both virtual machines is highly innovative in blockchain space. Sota Watanabe repeated, Astar Network is still in early stage of development. He explained that developers are the most important resource in blockchain space. That is why Astar has come up with their innovative build-to-earn model that incentivizes developers to build dApps on Astar Network and this ensures them a basic income in ASTR tokens. Sota also revealed that a new wave of products is going to flood Astar Network. There will be multiple new WASM DEXs, landing platforms, new DAOs and NFT solutions deployed on Astar. And what's more, Astar will also allow for interoperability between EVM and WASM smart contracts. I also loved a great analogy Sota gave to explain EVM and WASM for general public. Sota compared EVM to Windows and WASM to Mac OS, which is the operating system in Mac computers produced by Apple. Sota explained that WASM is similar to Mac OS in a sense that Mac OS is more sophisticated for developers and designers than Windows. So keeping this analogy, Astar is currently still primarily using Windows, but from now Astar is also supporting Mac OS. Sota also emphasized how important their partnership with Sony is. The first Web3 incubation program with Sony generated more than 200 applications in just two weeks and the best 19 projects will be deployed on Astar in the next one to two months. Actually, this incubation program with Sony is the first one out of four incubation programs that will be held in collaboration with Sony, so Astar's partnership with Sony is long-term, which is definitely very bullish for the adoption of Astar in Japan. Sota also shared more details on their partnership with NTT Docomo, which is the leading Japanese mobile network, 30% of Japanese people use NTT Docomo mobile service. NTT Docomo is also the third largest publicly traded company in Japan right after Toyota and Sony, so Astar is collaborating with three biggest companies in Japan, bullish. Regarding NTT Docomo collaboration, Sota teased some exciting news that will be announced in the coming months, which he cannot disclose right now, but judging by his expression when he was talking about it, I'm guessing this announcement will be again pretty big. And Sota also said that there are a few other partnerships with several big Japanese corporates in the works that, however, he cannot yet announce because of NDA, non-disclosure agreement. Sota was also asked whether Astar will bring the Sony NFTs from their PlayStation console to Web3. Just a little bit of context here, Sony is the maker of PlayStation 5 gaming console and now Sony became the first console maker to develop a Web3 gaming framework for NFT assets. So Sony is aiming to connect Web3 space with their extensive PlayStation user base by creating standardized digital infrastructure that will allow gamers to own and transfer NFTs 
that is across all existing Sony's video game platforms. So Sota said he's doing his best to bring Sony's PlayStation NFTs to a star network, but for now he clearly couldn't reveal any more details, so we can expect more exciting news coming soon. Sota concluded his talk with stating that while Astar's main narrative till the end of quarter 2 will remain backed by Japan, from quarter 3 Astar's narrative will switch to Astar as a multi-virtual machine platform and Astar's support of WASM smart contracts. So these were the main thoughts of Sota Watanabe from Astar's WASM launch day. My overall impression is that a lot of thrilling news and partnerships is currently happening behind the scene, but Sota simply cannot disclose anything yet. He definitely did a great job giving the community a nice overview of the recent WASM development on Astar as well as very skillfully teased the community and kept Astar's hype life. Thanks for watching and happy Easter everyone!